bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let loose a hearty sneeze. A single grain of sand had flown around the warm wind and tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand, the Yo Desert. On the endless subbank expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. Yep, yeah, majority of them are Animal Crossing videos. I try to do a daily thing, but something personal happened that prevented me on doing that. So I have to be away from my house for a long, long time. So it it had to be done. It, you know, man, watch it say something around there being some ruins around here. If your heart can't be far now, we better not waste any time. So I gotta get back on track of Animal Crossing since I'm finally back home. And just like a real desert, it's vast, empty, and miserable. And I. Oh, uh, there's our new item! Come back here. This is a speedy flower, it simply speeds up time. You also earn two times experience points and coins while activated. So I'm assuming. Here's, thing, here's one thing you know about the speedruns. I know to use these flowers to blaze through places and. Oh crap! Run for your life! It's a zombie shroom! No, 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 no! I know it's no poison mushroom, but still, the trauma from Mario Maker has already been set. And we got some bowl clips which we cannot defeat. The most miserable space in the game. I couldn't agree more. I try to avoid uh, that flower. I don't get any trees on experience points, but my gosh. It's really hard to control. And that was new anyway. There we just killed. It's called the boom box. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy, this guy. Let's see. What were you again? You were... This dragon-like monster is a Jawbus. They tend to bite anything near them. Max HP 5, Max 1, and the sweetie is just going to spawn on his back. It won't look behind, so try flipping into 3D, staying behind it. But, as much as I want to attack him in 2D, it's almost not possible and not really not worth effort. As one of those enemies, you have to sadly defeat in 3D. I know it's getting much of me at this point. Every time I see this enemy, it looks like it looks like a bug. Guns rear end, so it looks like something is farting out of its rectum to attack Mario. I got the only one to see this, right? Does it does look like it? God, it has to be. Wait, is it intentional? Wait, I'm gonna next time we see that enemy, I'm gonna tattle that to see if that is indeed intentional. If you notice from this point, there's nowhere else to go. Although we did step into 3D and saw another other path. I guess I could have sworn there was something over there, like treasure, but I didn't see anything of the sort. I haven't played this game in a good seven years, so my memory is really rusty. I could sure there might be a cart on the far right. The green version of Explosion. Oh, yeah, I didn't remember. It was the first time I got you game over on it because of the freaking poison. The old signpost. Find near the tall red palm tree of fortune and leap under its branches ten times. Anyway, they see a red palm tree somewhere all the way back there. If I flip here, I should be back. Ah, there we go. That's one trick you to do. Not 
That's once you're gonna be using for a while to get to certain places much quicker. It's gonna be helpful. And the blue one, you fought the ice version. No, I actually fought the pink version. I fought. I haven't seen the blue very. I didn't push up. I didn't push up there. What? Uh, sometimes the short is kind of finicky. You know what I'm saying? I got the destroyer all the way back in 2006. I think it might be fine dying on me, but I hope that's not the case. I hope that's just a fluke. The trees look very different. I agree. Especially this red one. Where's the red one? I don't know if it's not tall. Oh, that sucks. And, oh, and that makes it even worse because... Colorblind people can't see both red and green, so that makes things way more difficult. So if you're colorblind, remember these, remember these two blocks right here. As soon as you do these two blocks, it should be the next tree right here. You jump under ten times. So yeah, that's kind of an oversight. You want to say something like that, the tree that has three coconuts, because that'll be another thing. They you say red tree with three coconuts, then people might find it more easier. That's a design flaw see that, that was right there. They should make the tree blue or something. And the more you think about it, I think games back then don't really consider car blind people. No, if that was a Mario Maker level, I would I would have raged right there. Thankfully, that's just a zombie shroom, so it was dumb enough to fall into the sand pit. No, this is too easy. I'm gonna put effort in going through the sand pit. Yeah, if you're stubborn like me, you just do this the entire time. So it's just going to 3D. Oh shoot! Well, we're just about to find you guys. <laughs> You fools! There was quicksand right in front of you, and you just charge into it. My biggest different. I yeah, but still, the flashbacks still haunt me. At least I don't have to worry about Mario Maker traps. At least it's a rotten mushroom. Way different. Yep, it is different. But still, it still creeps me out. This one does one damage to me, actually, and can at least kill it. Oh, I thought it was Water Mushroom again. I'm, okay, so I need to heal up right here. This one looks inviting, but I want to go up. Come on, come on. Not. There's, some, there's something about this game that's been bugging me for the longest time. I know what you're thinking, like... Alright, especially in the 3D sections, you have to deal with that freaking D-pad all the time. Here's the thing about this game. This game was originally made for GameCube. So pretty much, when they designed it for GameCube, they kind of had it with the... With actually, the control stick and mind to navigate these areas easier. But for some baffling reason, it doesn't really work out with the D-pad when you try to go into the space. It's just kind of a pain. I usually do my best try to rectify this. Rectify that by trying to move around quite a bit and I don't want to lose HP because I took in a little bit and about to get hit hurt. So pretty much it was a game game we made as a Wii game. And it does show at points, especially when you get to the inventory pretty soon. They swap in and out of it pretty quickly. It becomes really cumbersome. Those laws are not showing now, but when we get more partners and and more pixels, it starts to show. I think around around chapter three is when the flaws start to really show. Just with, just with the controller in mind. Yep, 
Yeah, but I don't want to get hurt. Gargogly! So you're the last stick in this stash in my boss's business. You should have crossed the count. Now I'm gonna have to get chunky on you. Oh, gross. Yo, you're the count flex thugs, aren't you? Oh, Chuck's my name? And I'm no coming to the last. I thought for the count, oh, counts. Count Black himself. One word's for the Black of White, and I'm coming to make you feel some hamage. Ooh, we're getting ham. Awesome. You're like, nah, I'm baby. <laughs> you run through swamps like thinking five dollars, but we're not. <laughs> yep. I have my priorities. <laughs> I have my priorities. Hamage? Give me the ham. Yeah, uh, make that damage! Whatever then, no this matter is a pinch of stew and a sandstorm. You're a goner! Do you even know what Count Black is trying to do? Duh. Maybe boys using powers and what's not to bring back some order to this air world. If any of Black is in any of mine, they all get choked. This old choke is less good and that means we've faced so far. Maybe you should use my power to investigate him when we start the battle. Enough is enough already. It's time to thunder down from on high the never at beating of the ages. Chuck it on! That's so Chucks, he's a big bearded warrior of a man. Max pay is 20, and attack is 1. He can grab you by the feet and hurl you. If you're in reach, he'll toss you so keep up your distance. But you can turn tables on him and use Tora to send him flying. Here's our first boss battle! Here's the thing, I am not gonna use Tora because if I use Tora, this fight becomes a complete joke. So I gotta do my best trying to restrict myself not use pixels and do it the old fashioned way. Now be careful because he will do this! Okay, I... Okay, there we go! I'm gonna toss and I get hit. Sounds a mis mistake when you get low on 3D gives Mario pixel ashes, even though this one punch. I don't know why, just hearing that meter tick, tick, tick is really intimidating. I think it's a psychological thing. Oh, got him in the gobble. He is out of here. I'm chucked. Be chucked, you feel me. I got promoted on your barely sweat your brow. I, what kind of strange little man are you? I'm, a, I'm an Italian. That's why I'm so strange. This little man is none other than the legendary hero, Mario. Maria, eh? That's not our name. Yeah, but you can't beat your babbling. I'll remember that. <laughs> his name is Maria. Uh, his name is not Maria. Oh god, now I'm doing it. His name is not Maria, it's Mario. Yeah, remember this, Maria. If you didn't look like such a wee taller, I wouldn't have taken it so easy on you. But hey, I have to give you up for your effort, so let's call it a tie. I won that! You coward! You better get some chucks of your own for next time. So yeah. And while you're at it, why don't you just wax that bony statue of yours, Maria? Do we meet again? Aye! Chuck's away! Houston, we have liftoff! You know what, I think Marsh Wario should sue because that's his signature move. You know what's word what that goon was going to say? I have no idea. He has the power of... Damn it. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Funny. Did I know there's secrets to the left hand side? A ah, secret door! Wait, or is this the way forward? No, this is, no, no, this is not the way forward. Okay, thank goodness. But there's a, a top to this platform of blue, and the flying is for the eyes of the hero only. Left, left, left. Gaze at the side of the signpost. 
So I'm gonna go lefts and I find this. Press negative and one at the same time to make something of interesting happen. So I have to go to minus row negative one to do something. Got it. Imagine I'm saying it was a tie to a tie. <laughs> oh boy. The task feels nothing. It's nothing but a heartless machine. If I recall, I know there's a... There you are! Hold on. I need to find... Frick. Let's try to tattle. I just have to try to Come on, Tippy. That's a nice chubby. It's a nasty gas bag that spews a plume of freeze It does fart. Next week's probably attacking you. That gas will freeze you, so don't go stiff. <laughs> No, if I smell farts that freeze me to death, then I will not even bother with it. Some say the gas comes from their mouth. Some say it comes from elsewhere. Say classy Nintendo. Oh dear. <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling. It's drugs. No, it does one hell of a drug then if it gives me brain freeze. I don't know if it's legal here. I don't want to find out because I don't want to go to jail. Because if I, can't, because if I go to jail, I can't play Paper Mario, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> go to Ice Powder, I just did. And there's worse out there. There's worse, more farts. You know what? I'm going to go 3D here because... Oh. I could have sworn those spirits were going to be 3D as well, but... It does look like an epic entrance. I think one of the shortcomings of this game visually is the fact that sometimes it's not interesting to see it in 3D. It's also 2D looks a lot more better than 3D at many times. There's different ones. Daisies. Well, as long as, long as it's not amazing daisies, I'm okay with that. Give you drugs and make you sleep. Ah. I getcha. Alcohol. The most legal of drugs. No one even me. No one take that when me and my friends are doing drunk Mario party, and oh boy, those could get crazy. 